Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to some Friday Night Magic here at twitch.tv slash Canada. My name is Joe, and we stream here three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on twitch.tv slash Canada. On Sundays, we normally stream historic but we will be discussing that very shortly uh so sundays we stream historic on magic arena on tuesdays we head over to the world of pokemon tcg and fridays like tonight we play some friday night magic but we play pretty much every single format and tonight we're gonna be playing some singleton which is the fnm at home event that's happening this that tonight at fnm so, if you do like what you see here, please hit that follow button here on Twitch. Or you can follow me at Twitter or Instagram at KiltGuyCDN. Exclamation point Twitter or exclamation point Instagram. We'll send you the links down below. On exclamation point YouTube, we actually uploaded not too long ago the Pokemon uh, stream that we had on Tuesday night. That we, that we also debuted one of our new theme decks that we've tried out, and it was actually a bit of a blast to uh, play. And, so, exclamation point YouTube in the chat below, just like so, just so I'll show you right here. Just a simple, easy exclamation point YouTube in the chat below, right there, we'll get to the link right for it. And finally, if you would like to help out monetarily, exclamation point it donate, in the chat below just like so or streamlabs.com slash kilt guy canada will send you will get you to the link and any donation will be greatly appreciated and will help keep the lights on so so to get back to the point on for sunday just to before we head into our two decks that we're going to play this evening sunday at noon eastern so instead of our 8 p.m Eastern Standard Time, we'll be streaming at noon, where we're going to be playing in the DWC Organizational Number 6, Zendikar, the Zendikar Rising Standard Tournament. So we're going to be streaming starting at noon Eastern. We'll be on a seven minute delay, uh, just for, uh, because of the sake of this is a competitive tournament, so we will be, we will be live at noon Eastern. And we'll be showing all the rounds until we are physically or mathematically eliminated from the tournament. So I hope you can join me then and we can join rack out to see which one of these decks I'm gonna probably jam out. In the meantime, tonight on FNM at home, we're gonna be playing some singleton. So what singleton is is a 60 card format it's a 60 card district constructed format best of one but you are only limited to one card minus basics 
So for example, we're going to be pulling up the first deck that we'll be playing this evening, which is Green White Counters. So. So the deck list, if you want to have the entire deck list, uh, exclamation point, uh, Exclamation point deck in the chat in the chat below will lead you to the deck that we're playing in. Or oh, and also over the overlay in uh here on Twitch. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh comments down below, you'll see the link for uh our decks this evening. So what we want to try to do is put as many plus one plus one counters on everything. And we have ways to protect protect our stuff. We have some removal, some ramp. And we have some plus one plus one counters and so we have payoffs including we have stokal serpents we have well well with Sur scourge and basically what we're trying to do is put as many plus one plus one counters on as much as humanly possible and try to beat down as fast as we can so without further ado we're just going to jump right into our event this evening Now, for the ones who are new to the channel and try to figure out what the FNM at Home single, what FNM Home series is, it's basically since the pandemic has already happened, or it's happening in the last little bit. So, what what our Magic Arena does is every Friday night they put up a different event. So last week was decks that only had commons and uncommons, and you build a sixty card best of one deck. So tonight we are playing a sixty card deck. That are limited to one copy of any card other than basics so play the event casually you have a ban list as per normal and then what you do is you take a picture of the event that your screenshot of the event and then you go to your whatever your friendly game store website that they prefer to have you send, send it in so sometimes for our local game stores up here in canada uh specifically Ottawa, ontario uh, we have a couple of Discord channels, so what people do is they take a screenshot of the event, then go right over to Discord, post that they have the that they did the event, and based on the store and also the availability of the codes, they receive a code which contains two cosmetic items. So it'll be card sleeves and or uh, card styles. So. Just to keep so that it's like a casual Friday night magic. So we're just trying to have some fun. So what we're going to do is tonight we're going to have some fun with two decks. So we're going to play some green white counters to start off. And then we're going to get into after our on the second half of the stream. We're going to be playing some four color ramp. I wonder what's the four color that the payoff card for. But we'll get to that in the meantime. So in the meantime, green white counters. Here we go. Also, special thanks to MTGA Zone, Arena Zone, which you can find them at MTG, MTGAZone.com. It's a great resource for any uh, arena deck lists, including standard, standard, historic, best of one, best of three, brawl, you name it. They have a bunch of deck lists. There's great articles. But, but, I'd like to thank you for the for the two lists that they posted on their website. So I grabbed those two lists and we're going to play them tonight in Friday Night Magic Historic. I'm just wondering how everyone's weekend has been. Or has been the week. It's been a bit of a chaotic week for myself. Just been a little busy with just, you know, getting the streams ready and finding time for everything so uh, okay so we'll be going first um i believe it's actually not a eh, it's not a bad start so what we'll probably do is uh we'll keep our opponent has their pet rock right there Okay, so what we do is you can either go turn one, either turn one Gilded Goose or 
Velvet and Welch crack it for a forest. But I think we'll just go the slow route, get the Evolving Wilds, pay, play, get a Golden Goose, set up our turn two, and pass turn. Opponent. Cracks our Fable Passage. For a swamp. Okay. So we're going to go Gilded Goose, get a food, play the planes, and the turn. No point in bringing the board yet. I want to use this as, as much value as you can as a removal spell. Okay. So. We will go Castle of Ardendale. One in a blue, okay. One in a green, so. We'll hold that off. Once they reaches that out of control, we can giant killer that, so. What we'll do is. Tempered Veteran. And. I'll just end the turn and say go. Just play it out. So what we can probably do is let this get out of this control, and then we can giant killer kill that. Dactos, that's fine. So what we're going to do is, um, hmm. I think we may have to go, I think we got to go ambush, uh, target bites you. So that's fine. Um, might as well play this tapped. No attack, say go. We'll try like that. Opponent scries. Freebooter. That's fine. They'll probably take the root troll, the great hench, probably the great hench. Okay, the root troll. Uh, no blocks on the 2 2. Alright. Nope. Can't do that. Hmm. Two, six. Um, I'll pass her. They already know we have a giant killer in our hands. They don't know that we have the rabbit bite. That's fine. Okay. So it's a black white life gate deck. Uh we'll block like there. I think we will pass damage. We'll use... Okay, so... We will... Create a food token.
one, two, one, two, three, four. I think we want to save that, so no attacks and the turn. I don't think I want to be doing anything, so I'll just take the damage. Um, I think greater food token. pretty good. Rabbit bites. Uh, no attacks and the turn. Down to eight. Uh, okay. I'll probably take the great hedge. Yep. Another game four can't block, can't do anything. I think we gotta do this now. Out of green. Sack of food. Smith. Use the ability. Get their priest. Eat some life. Let it resolve. Pass to attackers. Uh, block here. Attack by block for yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right, that wasn't pretty. Not pretty at all. Ah well. We're just trying to have fun with these decks here, so. And I think we're just gonna go straight into our next match. For anyone that's watching this on YouTube or uh, watching it here on Twitch, um, if you played in this event, which decks were you running and uh, what was your success rate? Uh, you know, just try to figure out, just compare notes and see what you played against and what kind of sweet builds that you saw. So, other than that, I think we're going to head into our second match of the evening here. We'll play probably a couple of rounds, uh, just a couple of matches. The green white counters. Let's head right back into our next match.
So, one that goes first. This is actually not bad, so we'll keep. Let's see where we're up. Yep, keep the planes. So that way we can go and turn to a veteran or flash in a wildborn observer. Looks like it's oop all, oops all spells. Uh, last turn. We'll flash in the preserver. Oh, net. Ooh, just guy. That's actually not a bad. Turn three. We are each a grain of I trust in your ability. Oh, Nant. This is like four color shenanigans. It looks like five color shenanigans. Yeah, five color shrines. Okay. So we will passage, crack the passage, get ourselves a forest, tapped. Make sure whatever no tree detectors turn create that many one once after attacking. Okay. So what we'll do is. Take action. Okay. One. Uh, that's a turn. Now is the time to strike. We have a blocker. We have nine power. And we can almost threaten lethal next turn. Have to deal with Rash Taunter. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Petra's love is your shield. Hmm. Whenever non-human, okay. For combat, might as well swing with everything. They're gonna take five. We'll take five. Fine. I shall just play out our hand. Uh, take action. One. Auto pay. Yep. I think what our opponent wants to do is five color brash taunter and then brash taunter do what shenanigans of either doing a lot of damage to everything and then brash taunter gets all the triggers so next turn we could be taking 12 which is not a ideal situation so our I have to remember what was in the deck here, so... Anthrax? Sure... Okay. Stone? Okay. Pass. 
has. Uh, yep. So we're gonna go land. We need a combat, create a water surge target, and then plus one plus each creature you control. We're gonna go giant. No, we don't want to go giant killer. I think we're gonna go uh, indestructible. Uh, on you. Now then is the time to strike. Ambush. Uh, you fight you. Make a bunch of one ones that don't do anything. Uh, go to combat as well, and just got scoop it up. Yep. So that's what the deck is supposed to do. Do a lot of those shenanigans. And if you do like what you see here, you can follow me here. On Twitch, just hit that big follow button as we are on the road to affiliate. We're just started about a month ago, so we're just trying to climb our way up to 50 followers so that we can help grow the channel. And if you want to keep up to date with the schedule, uh, actually, if you go exclamation point schedule in the chat below. Let you know that we do stream on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on twitch.tv slash Canada. Now, with the exception of this Sunday, instead of streaming at noon, we'll be streaming at noon. Uh, sorry, instead of streaming at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will get our first reward of 20 gems. Four points, 25 there. Just to see how much because we have our dailies. So we have seven twenty perfect all okay. So we're just climbing our way up there. So head back to our FM. So this this Sunday, instead of streaming at eight PM Eastern Standard Time, we'll be streaming at noon. Noon, twelve o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time with a seven minute delay on the stream on my end you'll be still be live at noon eastern but we'll be streaming the dwc organizational number six zendikar horizon standard championship it's a standard event that's held hosted by the dwc the disorganized wizards club it's a podcast that's located here in ottawa ontario uh, I've done the best that I've done in their events was 12th out of 116 players. That was during the Ikoria standard of during Ikoria standard. So opening hand. Keep. So we'll go scry for scry for land. Scry for land. Uh, actually, Uro is probably not terrible. We want to keep that. Then we just go house life bounty. So we'll just go life bounty. Lost mean sands. Gain one life. Sega. So the best I stand, best I did was twelfth out of. Looks like. Ramp. Hmm. So I think what we'll do is combat. Try their bluff. If they want to trade, cool. If not, that's fine. So let's go serpent for two. Pastor. So the best I did in these events was 12th out of 
120 from the Ikori from Ikoria standard. I was playing Jeskai Wyona because that was the best thing you wanted to be doing was turn for Wyona, steal all their stuff in Ancient Treachery, so. Ooh, Outlaws. Okay. So, got a land. That's not terrible. So, a red and a white. So, this is going to block for days. Hmm. The thing we're going to do is we're going to play Veteran. Uh, next. Attack with the Life's Bounty. Uh, crack this for a forest. So we just have it ready to go. We're just having fun. So we're not going to try to uh, be around the bush here. So we're not going to try to hold up counter magic or hold up lands or whatever. So so they can make a 2 1. They want to attack, no problems. Serpent's going to block all day. When it passes. So. What I want to do is we can go play you. We are a team. Uh, we succeed or fail as well. Start. My sand will protect you. Uh, play this for bullet green. Uh, no attacks, past turn. So they grade a 2-1 life linker. Elder Gragadon. Okay. So it looks like Naya. Naya good stuff here, so. Uh, pass. Yikes. Uh, okay. Hmm. I think we want to do is... Petra's love is your shield. So our next play is... I don't think they would want to tuck in with our Gargadon. Surge can't tuck unless you have four more artifacts. So if you your own step, create your treasure token for each creature. I'm going to turn the dice turn. Okay. Attack with the Gargadon. Okay. The 2 1. So. Make it 3 3. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Blockers. We're going to block here. We're going to block. Here. I'm going to block here. We're going to let our planeswalker bite the bullet, which is fine. They leave the cleave. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to rename red. Retreat and regroup. Okay. 
tour. Seven fourteen. Yikes. Uh, no attacks. Say go. It's not gonna be pretty. That's all they're dealing. Let's keep the wilds. Uh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So they can attack for 14. This turn. They have a 3-3. Three, three. They have Naturalist, Goose. Destroy all giants, that's a beast, that's a dragon, beast. I'll draw a card. We're gonna let 14 happen. Unless they got any pump. Need a way to go, oh boy. That's that's frightening. That is frightening. Okay. Hmm. Huh. That's a board to have. So either put a plus one plus one counter and grow to everything. We put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control, then we have our attacks. Each creature the plus one plus one counter on it, or it's roar intervention and survive the turn. However, yeah. There's no way out of it. Oh my goodness. That was not pretty. Uh, but it is what it is. So currently one and two of the deck. We probably played uh, probably two more two more matches. So we have our five played five matches per per session with each deck here. So But if you do like what you see here, uh, you can follow me at KiltGuyCDN on Twitter as well as on Instagram. Facebook, you can follow my Facebook page at Facebook.com slash TheKiltGuyCanada. YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. Please, you can also sh click like, share, subscribe to the channel. Or if you are watching this on uh, Twitch, exclamation point YouTube in the chat we'll lead you to the link we do stream three days a week normally at 8 p.m eastern standard time on sundays tuesdays and fridays this sunday coming up we'll be streaming the dwc organizational which is the which is going to be a standard event we'll be streaming all around until we are mathematically eliminated from the tournament this is actually now uh, we'll keep this uh, we'll activate get ourselves our green mana just to bite the bullet and say go so turn We'll go turn two, Stone Cold Serpent, uh, for two.
You have a low skull, bro. Okay. So, I think we're gonna go combat. Um, see how much they like that serpent. They want to trade. I, we have a heroic intervention, which they don't. Uh, then we'll go. Ever veteran. Pass. If they don't have anything, what we can probably do is uh, pull up the intervention. And fall trigger. White. So they have double white. Double white. Yeah, migration's path. Ramp rate. Rampy, rampy. rampy. Not too bad. Double ramp. Looks like green, white. Right? So they do. They waste their members' call. So either we go the Iron Games, but I think we might go Hydra's Growth. Target Serpent. And then that just gets out of hand real fast. All right, so this Sunday we'll be streaming the DWC Organizational at noon Eastern with a seven minute delay. Uh, we'll be still streaming at noon Eastern. Uh, Tuesdays we stream Pokemon TCG. And Fridays, we play Friday Night Magic. So, and to keep up to date with all of our social medias, we, you can also, don't forget to like, share, and like and share the pages on uh, Twitter, Instagram, at KillGuyCBN. Right. So we're short on two mana. Probably go... Selfless Savior. Let's get our protection on. Uh, attack with him. They want to trade. We'll sack the Savior. Give it pro green. I have to take two. The turn. Opponent theoretically can make six, seven mana this turn. That's not frightening in Singleton when you have a Lotus Cobra on turn two. Oh boy. Yes. That is frightening. That's a seven, seven. Yikes. That is frightening. And it's a land too. Oi, oi, oi. Blue. Okay. Double blue. Oh boy. Land. They'll probably want to copy this Cobra. That's what I call. Trigger, trigger. Wow. So any land. Wow. Okay. So we have a 9 9 on our hands. That's going to get out of hand real quick. Our turns. We draw finally the land. Now we can go Hydra's Growth targeting our Serpent. Now we can have our, our, our own out of control creature. That also has trample. So we're not going to attack. We're just going to sit back and pass the turn. And we're just going to pretty much hold our butts and see what shenanigans they're going to pull. Okay, so they get double colors. Let's 
double lower corporate triggers. Solves. Too bad I didn't have land destruction. This would have been just quite a total blowout, but. Okay. Oh, net. Makes blue, red, white. Escape the wilds. Okay. Okay, that's terrifying right there in half. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Not pretty at all. Wow. Okay. Yep. Personally, I should have went red. Okay. That's probably where they're going red. Yeah, you know what? We're not gonna have them have their fun. <laughs> we know where this is just going. They're gonna try to escape, escape Terror of the Peaks, and then they could have just ping, ping, ping our board there, so. Oi, 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 oi. Well, it is what it is when you're off land, so. Ah well, it is what it is. So, I'm gonna try one more match with green white counters. We're gonna go, f and then we're gonna have our quick intermission. Then after the intermission, we're gonna play four color ramp. I wonder what we ramp to. Try one more match here with green white. But overall, if we can get our mana on, the deck will actually just pretty much almost pile itself so that it actually just gets out of hand real quick. So it's almost like, so I can almost say it as just more of an aggro e deck. But I could also see the turns that they just sit, you know, just sit still and just. Everything happens, so. Pony goes first, and. Uh, I think we'll keep. So, we play. You tapped, say go. Looks like the animator deck. Say go. Probably do. Okay, so they're five five for yikes.
We'll get an eye out. We'll get a planes. Uh, I think it's just play you. Questing beast. If they want to block here and trade, I'm okay. Yep. Yeah, but three, three, last turn. Uh, I think what we need to do is. I think that's what we want to do. We want to banish your light. We want to take care of that. When it passes, okay. So, what we probably do is. Oops. on you uh, to climb combat I think this works it's indestructible and yep I think we may be off the races here, so... Hmm. Right here. And this is where it gets out of control real quick there, so... And scoops it up. Okay. Well, that wasn't terrible at all, so. But we finished with a 2-3 and three record. Um, I think we'll just wrap up our here, wrap up our deck here, so that. Just to see what thing, what kind of changes we could have done, so. XP, some gems, Enterprise, Enterprise, so a bunch of stuff, cool. So You on. So I'll update that. So with her looking at the deck here. The games that we did lose to. We hit land, consistent land drops. That was probably a thing. But I think we were mostly into, we were just aggro and tried to uh, get as much counters in as fast as possible and get there. It was maybe missing uh, just a couple of uh, ramp spells. Or ways to just get to find the final land so we can try to ramp into our bigger stuff in the end. 
But when we had our land drops, we were hitting our land drops consistently. Um, we are pretty much just going to town as fast as possible with our counters. And we're just going from there. So overall, the deck felt all right. But probably maybe some, uh, probably like a cultivate or just ways to uh, just to hit our land drops or just try to hit, uh, just to probably thin through our deck a little bit faster. So to yourself. Well, with that said and done, we're going to be going for our quick intermission. We're going to take a seven minute break. Give you enough time to stretch your legs, go to the washroom, grab yourself a drink. And when we get back, we're going to be playing some four color ramp in Singleton. And we'll catch you in seven minutes.
and welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Friday Night Magic here on twitch.tv slash Kilkai Canada. Uh, where tonight we are playing some FNM at Home Singleton here on Magic Arena. So if you do like what you see here, uh, you can click and click the follow button as here on Twitch. As we are on the road uh, to affiliate, we're trying to get there with, uh, we've been streaming for about a month and so we're just slowly making our way up there and hopefully we can reach our goal of 50 followers so that we can try to help grow the channel. So, and if you do like what you see here and you want to follow me on social media, uh, you can follow me at Twitter, KillGuyCDN, at Instagram, KillGuyCDN, on Facebook, Facebook.com slash TheKillGuyCanada, exclamation point YouTube in the chat below, or in the description over in our uh, main page on Twitch, will lead you to the YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe there for all our past VOD streams. We do stream at three days a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where on Tuesdays we play Pokemon TCG. Tonight we normally play Friday Night Magic. Uh, either we play Standard or, in this case, the, tonight we play Singleton. And Sundays we normally play Historic. However, this Sunday at noon Eastern, not at 8 p.m., noon Eastern, we'll be playing in the DWC, the Disorganized Wizards Club, Organizational Number 6, the Zendikar Rising Standard Tournament. We'll be playing in that event until we are mathematically eliminated from the top eight. And we're going to have ourselves, we're going to be on a seven minute delay just to, because it is a competitive tournament, so need to be on a delay on our end but you'll still be seeing it live at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and finally if you want to help out monetarily with the stream here on twitch.tv slash Canada exclamation point donate or streamlabs.com slash Canada will lead you to the lead you to the donation page and you can chip in a couple of bucks to help keep the lights on here and any donations would be greatly appreciated so the earlier the stream we played a green white counters in singleton went into a two and three record so now we're going to jump into four color ramp so if you need the deck list explanation point deck in the chat below will lead you to the link to the decks and or or the overlay here on Twitch from the Cardboard Live. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, in the description down below, there'll be a link down below for the four color ramp in Singleton. So basically, all we're trying to do is ramp, 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 ramp into our big stuff where we can just do big dumb stuff. Like Genesis Ultimatums, Inspired Ultimatums, Ugins, have max, no maximum hand size, wipe the board, uh, draw cards, and pretty much do all the big, big stuff we want to do. So that's what we want to try to try ramp as fast as possible so we get to our big stuff. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into Four Colors Ramp here on Singleton. Here on Friday Night Magic here at twitch.tv slash Canada. Now in the chat or the description down below are the comments. Just wanted to know what decks you were playing in the Singleton event uh, when this happened. We are streaming on October 2nd. Just wanted to know what decks you'll be running in, to what decks you played, what was your record for the evening, and what type of uh, brews that you saw by the event. 
We have to go first. So we have a bit of a land destruction. Um, they're probably mulligan. This one's a little better, so keep. Uh, I think we want to do Jump through again. So we're going to go Temple of Mystery. Scry. Uh, we'll keep that on top. Because we can go with, 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 with Haven. So we'll. So now we can tap for double green or green blue. Riddle form, okay. So our opponent is on is it spells. So we'll go. I think we'll go get our red source. So one, two, three, four, five. So we don't want to do anything yet, we'll just pass the turn. And then in turn we'll cycle Godzilla. That's Ruth. So what we want to do is cycle. Destroys that. Uh, yes, take action. Um, we have our green. We have. We have a green source. Pass. Take our beats for three. There you go. Need to lie, draw a card. Put another land to play. All day, there we go. That way, our next turn we could cast Endrith. We'll take our beats. Don't crush her, okay. What I think we want to do is play Kendrith. Uh, pass the turn. Scry. We have we have double double green double green. Probably need double red. Yes. Okay. Crack it. I think we want to get double bread. Uh, actually, we want blue. We want to pass this. Hmm. So that's an instant. So what we'll do is so we'll go to combat. Attack. Don't 
take their beats. That's totally fine. Play it. I know it's annoying, but it is what it is. Rebuke, okay. I think they have rebuke and then probably a shock in hand. Spell, yep. So it deals one. Thirteen. Okay, eight down to five. That's kind of frightening. forest then we'll get an extra forest and a or two mountains probably another island and if they got it then they, they got it so Is what it is. Is what it is. Ah oh, well. Well, we're just here to have a good time. So, and if you do like what you see here, you can follow me here on Twitch. Just hit that big old follow button. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, KillGuyCDN, Facebook, Facebook.com slash TheKillGuyCanada, YouTube, exclamation point YouTube, or the links down below here on Twitch. I think we did the ramp thing, but I believe they, but they had just had the answers and we didn't, so. But, I'll just jump right back into it. Probably play five matches for this, for this uh, round, and then we're gonna be calling it an evening. Have a busy weekend ahead, including this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming, live streaming, uh, my gameplay from the DWC Organizational. Opening hand doesn't seem terrible. I will keep. Scry. Ultimatum doesn't seem too terrible right now. Nil. That's rude. Uh, are we planning to get 60 card mill? Ah, uh, looks like blue back mill. Okay. So. Actually. Play this. Uh, cyclers probably won't, won't don't want to eat right now. 
I think we want to cultivate and try to ramp as much as we can. Uh, okay. Opponent. Yep. We'll go top land, uh, goose. Next turn, we do have Vivian. And resolve that. Two, three, four, five. That's a six. Uh, pass block. All blocks. Take our beats. Last turn. Uh, our turn. Well then. Maybe we go. Uh, I think we need our second resource. Kiora. figure out a way to get rid of this. Return it. Sure. I have a hexproof token that's going to stick around for a while. They can bounce it back. But then I uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually tops for two, so two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Baron, yep. Mm, that's a seeker dog card, yep. Scoop stuff. No, oh, darn. I was going to make another 3 3 and then do all the things. So that's what Ramp is supposed to do. Ramp into big, big stuff and then do all the things. So. So, currently 1 1. Not too shabby. Like I said, if you do like what you see here, you hit the big old follow button here on Twitch. You stream three days a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do stream Magic Arena on Sundays and Sundays and Fridays and Sundays. Uh, Fridays, uh, like tonight, we play uh, FNM on a variety of different formats. And then Sunday, we play Historic. However, this Sunday, we are going to be changing that up. Instead of streaming at 8 p.m., we'll be streaming at noon Eastern, where we're going to be playing in the DWC Organizational number 6. It's a standard tournament. And 
will be streaming with a seven minute delay just because it is a competitive tournament that with the total prizes on the line. tokens we get a lot of fun stuff so right just like to keep track of all of our dailies here so all right we hit our dailies for the day so go back to our singleton here play a couple of more matches of four color red and we'll be calling it an evening because we have ourselves a busy weekend. Because I have to get ready for and test and get ready for the event on Sunday. If you do want more information, uh, just go to mtgmelee.com, uh, which is the main website for all the arena tournaments that are happening so far and look up Disorganized Wizards Club in the melee. And also we'll provide links to uh, all my social medias on Twitter and Twi on Twitch and or actually on Twitter and Instagram as well on Facebook. So we are keep because we have a scry. We'll hold on to that. We'll turn two, triome, turn three, land, boss is seeking. Uh, so, triome. I think we're gonna go Rada. The Lost Basiki. Okay, we'll be drawing our Wolf Haven. That's fine. Because we can go Azusa. If they don't get rid of our Rider, we can play Azusa and then try to look. Raffle off a couple of lands on the top of our deck. Opponent. Yep. Takes care of our... I think we want to do is... Probably Relic. Just to, so that we have the ramp, so we have... So it's indestructible, but it can be bounced. Opponent. Looks like Mardu. Okay. Exploration, that's scary. So, you have four mana. I think we want to target you. I'll pay. And Boss was seeking past turn. They, they can play a land, okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Hmm. 
think green blue and then we get uh, white white That is a giant, so that doesn't help. But we have two, three, four. Yikes. Take another four. But we can ECD that. We can ECD that or ECD that. I think we might have to do is... Uh... We got ECD the four three. We have green green, blue blue. Okay, so all of ours off. They have a royal interruption. They have enough to kick it deal nine or deal nine or deal two yep deal deal nine or deal f deal the damage okay Can't cast that yet. So we could either do Azusa or Rata. I think Rata might be our best option. So that's a XX2 spell. And it's converted mana cost. Yep. That's a land. Okay. Escape the wilds. Okay. Uh, plus one, plus one.
one. Just his ultimatum. Uh, one, two, three, four. Triggers. And scoops it up. Ramp doing ramp things. So currently two and one. With Fall of Color Ramp. Here on Friday Night Magic, here at twitch.tv slash Kilkai Canada. And I'd like to be, send a big thanks to the website mtgazone.com for the deck ideas for this evening. Uh, there was a couple of tweaks I had to do because of uh, wildcard situation. But overall, the most of the majority of the deck is where it is. Okay. All right, so we're two and one. We have two more matches left. If you do like what you see here, please hit that big old follow button. We are on the road to uh, affiliate. We're trying to hit uh, 50 followers so that we can help grow the channel. And if you want to help out and chip in a couple of dollars to the channel to help grow it, uh, exclamation point donate or streamlabs.com slash Canada, or the links will be down below in the YouTube video. Opening hand. We are just missing a, a green source, but that's okay. We'll, we'll keep. We'll lead off with a mountain, so that way... If we need to ping off something quick, we can. Scries. Now we can hit green source, and we have a turn three, a turn four, and just ways to just up our mana. That's a goose. Let that resolve. Alright, Evolving Wilds is not bad. I will call on to that. Actually, I'll just go ahead and crack it now. There's no gonna be no being behind the bush. So I'll probably do is turn three, Beanstalk Giant, turn four, Migration to Path. I have up to six mana. Opponent, Royal Scions, okay, that's going to be a problem. I, with the knowledge to direct it, let me synthesize the facts. So now the race is on, I think we need to Beanstalk Giant this turn. Exploration doesn't seem terrible. That much damage to opponent. Ugh, okay. I think what we need to do... I think we have to go Beanstalk Giant. Get a white. So 
so that we can go Omnath, draw. We hit one of our. We hit a Fable Passage that's probably money because we can go land. Build the ties, build the off three. That was three land, so it's mill three, XL two cards, return to hand. Okay. That's what search. Not kicking yet, so we're gonna go. I think that the logical play is we're gonna go Omnath. Never did I have it. Table passage. Now we can do a lot of things real fast. Activate ability. Uh, we'll get a blue. Actually, we'll get another green. We'll get another forest. Triggers. More mana. Uh, I'll go up Migrations Path. Uh, get some more four, more lands out of our hand. Triggers. XL2 creature cards. Or two target cards from so they'll probably go Vivian and a migration bat or the boom. Yep. Draw a discard. But we can go ECD. ECD will hit Omnath, which is fine. So, do is build our retreat, uh, land for turn, create a 2 2. Uh, that's what search, regular, uh, green, green, triple double kicker. Get a plus, get a cat, get a cat. That plus two. Turn target creature or land. Okay. Bring back the ape. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six. They can't cast it yet. It is a seven, six, but this is a ten, ten. So it's at five loyalty. Okay, so here we go, Beanstalk Giant. Temple of Mystery triggers plus one plus one counters on everything. Seagate seems fine. Uh, then we will go to combat. Just swing everything at Royal Scions. They can block one if they have a way to get rid of a. That's a way around it. So they'll trade straight up trade one. That's gonna bite the dust. That's gonna take three. Down to two. 
and we'll end the turn. And they can bring back Liliana. Liliana doesn't seem a bad hit. Probably go Lillian. Oh, Liliana, sorry. Okay, or Karga, Karga, 8-7, comes to play, fight 1 to up to 1, that's okay, that's an 8-4, okay, great 2-4-4, four, four, since that has everything indestructible, but this doesn't have haste until your next turn. Ugh, okay. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Uh, I think we'll do is we'll cycle this. So we get draw it in our hands. Okay, so go follow kit cultivate. Create another 2-2. Two, two. Play another land. Create another 2-2. Two, two. Uh, we will... No attacks. End the turn. Take 3. That's a 10 7. Extinction event. A, the one odd creature. Wow. Yep. Uh, go no blocks. Yikes. Okay. That hurts a little bit, but we're already at a lot of landfalls. Uh, I think this is a dead card, so we'll play the tapped. Sure. Uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you and you submit. Auto pay. And shattered. Uh, go to combat. I don't think there's really need to go to combat, so we'll just pass the turn. Here you all to Ay, ay, ay. No. We're not letting them have this fun. Come on, let me scoop it up. Yeah, we're not doing any of this shenanigans. Yikes. 
Uh, okay. Oh boy. That was not pretty. That was not pretty. Well, I think I got one more match into me. So, before we finish it off this evening, I'd like to thank everyone who tuned in here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Canada, where we stream three days a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This Sunday, we'll be streaming at 12 p.m. instead of our 8 p.m. Uh, stream because we will be playing in the DWC organizational number six, which will be a standard tournament. We'll be starting the stream at 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll be playing some Pokemon TCG. And Friday, we'll play some Friday Night Magic, which we will let you know uh, by Sunday or Tuesday this week. We'll let you know what we're going to be playing. And if you do like me to see here, if you want to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash KiltGuyCDN. Instagram, instagram.com slash KiltGuyCDN. Facebook, you can follow me on, on my page at facebook.com slash the kilt guy canada youtube youtube exclamation point youtube uh, in the chat below or in the uh links in the twitch page at twitch.tv slash kilt guy canada if you want to help out uh and donate a couple of dollars to the stream and help grow the channel uh exclamation point donate or streamlabs.com slash kilt guy canada will let you to the link, uh, send you to the donation page, and any donations would be greatly appreciated to keep the channel up and running. So without further ado, we're going to play one more match of our four-color ramp here of Singleton at our f &M at home night here on twitch.tv slash Canada. Okay, here we go. Last round. Feel that this uh, the ramp deck is does rampy things. I think this is probably the more preferred build. So opening hand doesn't seem terrible. So we will keep and go land. Hey, I heard lay of the land that actually worked out too well. So we'll grab an island. So, uh, we will go. I think we will have this play tapped and say go. Then we can cultivate next turn. So, opponent is on, looks like a Sultai, being artisan. Yep. I think we want to do is this cultivate. So we have red. So go red. Uh, blue. But island in our hand. Island the battlefield. Bounce in their hand. Say go. Let grow the Phenarson. So we can go play you. We'll cycle, cycle you. Draw Eugene, that's fine. Uh, Omen. Take action. Uh, we need our planes. That 
that's fine. We have two, four, six. We're gonna hit below. That's an ECD head right there. Uh, Ruining your day is going to feel great. I don't need the forest right now. You think too much. I was bored anyway. That way, our next turn we can just uh, two, four, six. Yep, we should be able to. Smith zero, draw a card. Uh, okay, but at least we do take some damage. Okay. Alrighty, that is a problem. We have two, four, six, seven. Uh, Omnath, one time. Got there. Gain the life. Beanstalk Giant. In a mountain. Some lifelink. I think I'm gonna block here. Block like that. Seven. Yep. Yeah. to three. Okay. Six, two. Uh, five, five target and draw five. Gain five, target five. Um, they land for turn up to twelve. Uh, I will target you. Choose a card name, okay. Well, at least we know what their card is in their hands. Is that uh, for each creature card in your graveyard? Okay. Three, yep, you find a three drop. Hmm. I think let's go. <laughs> I guess you, I guess you, you can just win matches all together, so especially in a ramp.
So, to wrap it all up, I'd like to thank mtgazone.com for the deck list. You can find them at mtg, m, mtgazone.com. Uh, they have great uh, lists for standard, historic, best of one, best of three, singleton, artisan, any of the events that are happening in the arena. That's your go-to for uh, some of your lists there. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter or twi uh, Twitter and Instagram at KiltGuyCDN. On Facebook, facebook.com slash TheKiltGuyCanada. On YouTube, uh, exclamation, exclamation point YouTube or the page here, uh, twitch.tv slash KiltGuyCanada. We'll have the link down below for our YouTube channel. We do stream three days a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Sun Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The next time you'll see me will be on Sunday at noon Eastern as I compete in the DWC organizational number six. So, until then, this is Kill Guy Canada signing off, and I will see you on Sunday at noon Eastern.